So today I'm going to be setting up the Ikea Linman enclosure that I just recently made. And I want you guys to take a guess at what species of hamster you think I'm going to be putting in here. The only hint I will give you is that it is not a Syrian hamster. So leave your guesses below. I honestly don't know where to start. This is what I hate most about setting up enclosures is trying to figure out <laughs> where to put things. I'm first going to start with putting all the stuff in because I have most of it on stilts and then I'll add in some of the bedding I think. This is one of the Night Angel three chambered multi chamber hideout. Where's the entrance? There it is. Um, hmm. I also have the Night Angel peek away hideout here. And I've put some little dowels on it so that it can stand a bit in the bedding. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll put it in the middle maybe. I've also put this on stilts. The reason I put things on stilts is that so that it gives the hamster still the ability to be able to burrow under things without worrying about having something collapse on them because that would not be fun for the hamster. Um, and then that way you also don't have to just put everything on the base and then that prevents them from burrowing. So it's a good opportunity. It's safe and a good opportunity for them to burrow. This platform. Maybe. other objects that are harder to put stilts on so for example this dish here is a ceramic heavy dish I've just constructed my own little stilt system here um, I might have to just cut these ones down quickly but um, it's just popsicle sticks that I attached into a square and then I attached some dowels and then that will sit in the enclosure with the item on top and then once the bedding is in there it's all a lot stabler I might let's see <laughs> I might have to cut this down okay so I've got that cut down I'll put that there and let's see I think I want to go with this wheel so the wheel I'm going to be using is the acrylic night angel one this one is the 12 inch or if you want to be more specific I think it might be like 11.8 or 11.9 inches um, I like this wheel because it is easy to wipe out and it has the adjustable stand. I'm gonna put it to the top. I'm going to have it like this and now we're going to add in the bedding. I hope I have enough bedding. I bought three of the All Living Things paper bedding. So let's see. Make sure when you are adding your bedding that you are compacting it while like decompacting it but then at the same time pushing it down so that it's not so fluffy because if you leave bedding fluffy it's eventually just going to get compacted down anyways by the hamster. That sounded really Canadian, oh my goodness. <laughs> time for bedding number two. Back 
And third bedding. Okay, now I can start adding the rest of the fun stuff in. So, the sand bath here is going to sit on the um, platform that I made. I'm going to add a little bit of bedding around there to cover that. Grapevine wood! I have some bendable bridges with some moss in between to prevent getting any toes or feet caught. So I'm going to add in the sand that I use for my hamsters. This is the Zoomed, I think, reptile sand without calcium and it's free of dyes and everything. And for this dish, I'm going to be putting in some Eco Earth. This is just loose coconut fiber, and a lot of hamsters enjoy digging in this. Then for a pop of color, I'm going to add some of the pillow moss into the enclosure. to add our herbs and also some leaves to the enclosure for forage. Hi guys. Are you curious? Also going to add in some of these beautiful sprays for forage. I'm going to just place in the water dish and fill it up with water. I also am going to put in a food dish with some of the, my seed mix just for the first couple of days just to make sure they're eating and I'm also going to sprinkle some in the enclosure. And the enclosure is complete. And now we just have to wait for the surprise guest to show up. Mm -hmm. 